Alright guys, I got my CPU to the most stable and highest overclock I, got, I could ever get in my system. 4.2 GHz exact, bus speed of 200 and QPI link of 3.6 GHz, uh, voltage 1.35 volts, and the motherboard is ASUS P6T. And uh, it's not the deluxe edition, it's not the special edition, it's the normal P6T. Very, very it was at least a very popular motherboard, and mine still works. So I decided to push this a little further before I'm upgrading to my 2A 2011 platform. But uh, holy cow, I never thought I will hit 4.2 GHz in my system. I've, the highest I've got last time I tried, I when I had water cooling, I had 3.8 and then I got heat issues, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, the uh, H50 was not enough to keep it cool. So I got rid of the H H50 a long time ago and I got myself a, a Nocto NHD14 and now I finally got my CPU up to 4.2 GHz which is absolutely amazing 4.2 GHz never thought I would even be close to that so that is pretty good so here is the motherboard it's a Asus P6T uh, x68 board of course uh, memory 10 gigs running at 800 megahertz exactly because that means 1600 megahertz. If it's going you higher than 1650, uh, it only detects 2 gigs of RAM. So, weird, weird stuff. I, I think it is because I'm using uh, 5 sticks of memory. Or, uh, um, if you watch the line of tech tips, you probably know that you should not use, um, uh, use up all slots for RAM. You should only use a one channel. So, what I've done here. Walk around over here. Wow, that is not very good lighting here. So let's focus on that inside. I'm gonna get my phone out of my pocket here, so I can uh, light up this uh, computer. There you can see my RAM. Uh, I got uh, there are sticks there. I uh, see one blue, one black. One blue is another black, and there's another blue. So I got three blue modules, which are a triple channel kit. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. There you can see that there is one slot empty, which could have been a black stick in it, but it isn't. But that is just uh, yeah. If I took out the two black sticks, it only remained with six gigs of RAM. I could hit, I hit a, uh, I think it was, I hit 1900 megahertz on, the, on that Patriot RAM, which is I mean, absolutely astonishing, thinking about their XMP modules. Um, uh, yeah, uh, but then I only get 6 gigs of RAM, and you may be thinking, well, 6 is more than enough. Well, for my use, no, it isn't. It's actually too, <laughs> too little. Uh, I used, uh, before I reinstalled my system, I used to use approximately 4 gigs of RAM idle so that's idle no nothing up when I use my computer for 24 hours or when it stayed on for 24 hours 4 gigs of RAM no no less than that uh, so that's pretty amazing that it used so much memory uh, here haven't you guys seen this I got myself a red LED 200 mil exhaust fan here now I'm spinning at 7 volts so you're going so fast, quite slow but doesn't need to go faster I have a lot of um, I have quality fans and outtake fans uh, I have a couple of 200 mils in the top and even knock to a NH what do they call the fans NHP14 I guess they are called uh, and the same one which is sandwiched between the areas in the back so uh, doing a great job um, when I'm upgrading to the 2011 platform I'm also getting a new power supply because it's 650 watt it's, it's more than enough to keep this system going no no question there but if I'm upgrading to the stock in 2011 which is quite a power hungry CPU and trying to do some overclocking on that chip as well I think I gotta need a better power supply. I'm also thinking about buying a second uh, second hand 6970 or getting rid of that and upgrading to the 7000 series but that's when the money arrives. I need to wait for the money and see how the, my budget is I know I'm gonna upgrade to the second 2011 but I don't know if that's gonna be before I get a new 
camera. This is my camera. You can see reflection. That's the 1100D. I'm thinking about the 600D. So um, I don't know. New computer or new camera? I'm not sure yet. Because if you get a new camera, I can show you my new computer in like all this glory, you know, in high quality. And this, this is like HD ready resolution, which not everyone is a big fan of. Uh, but I like 1080p, so uh, I, that's why I want a new camera. Because this is a 720p 30 frames per second camera. Anyways, um, yeah, the RAM overclocking, no, no more possible in 1650 megahertz. Perhaps I can kick that CP a bit higher without uh, doing any, anything with RAM, but I have to take my time. I'm, I'm working every, approximately every day now. I got a job, so in, even in the summer, I got a summer job, so I'm working almost every day. So I don't have time for, or time, or I'm too tired to do overclocking. So, uh, yeah, this is just a very late video. Uh, if you know the European style of uh, clocks, there you go. That's the th 2338. That means that is, uh, well, in English, it's 11.38 p.m. Well, not so late, but uh, I'm getting... I have to help my mother uh, with a cat every morning now because it's sick. And uh, we have to... She's going to work like much earlier than I am, like six o'clock a.m. So I have to just yeah wake up at the same time. But anyways, uh, the thing I'm hoping uh, I guess it will work just fine. Um, the um, um, uh, five sticks of modules I have in there will work in the Socket 2011 platform. I see. I read that many people have just took the RAM out of their. Um, out of their old system, for example, uh, the socket 1156 and th 1366 sockets, and they're putting into 2011 sockets, and they're just working just fine. So uh, I guess uh, there is no bottleneck like there, or I guess there is no problem there. And they were running quad channel mode instead of triple channel mode, like they're running now, or triple and dual, because two of them are running a dual channel, and three of them are running triple channel. So oh, that's pretty uh, straightforward there. Um, yeah, um, hard drives wise, I um, need to upgrade, I need to replace some of my 500 gigs because they were, one of them actually going empty for uh, actually with photos and videos. One 500 gig total drive has gone full with either videos or photos. I never I never thought I will fill up a whole drive. My backup drive is almost full as well so uh, there I got to the backup drive is having a backup of everything which is on two of my drives which is then downloads and documents uh, the SSD right here working just fine planning or maybe uh, doing a SD upgrade since the price is like so damn low now it's amazing uh, so yeah that's about it guys so uh, I'm out two DVIs now. Finally got the the uh, proper connections for monitor, not no VGA. Because I got a Dell over here, and I got a my LG display. Uh, I taped over the <coughs> sorry, sorry about that. I taped over the expansion slots, which are not used here because uh, it has the. Uh, uh, the cooling is not optimal because it sucks in air there. When there's a video called exhaust warm air, that warm air is just keeping pulled in again and pulled in by the video card. So, or kind of, it heats up the system. And I, I actually managed to get a 5 degree drop just by taping off those expansion slots. I'm perhaps thinking, I'm maybe taping over one of those bottom ones, but one need to be open to have a little airflow for that sound card, which is not currently not in use. But it has a heat sink on it, which heats up pretty bad when it when it is in use. So, yeah, there's my trusty old power supply, guys. The TX650 by Corsair. Never had problems with it. It's actually a bit way too powerful for me, because uh, I drive a Molex drive shorted out uh, once, and it took the whole Molex cable with it. I'm not kidding. It melted the cable all the way to the power supply. But uh, still, the the doesn't it didn't. I uh, got together, you know, uh, didn't shore out anything. Oh man, these... I hate insects from getting into my room and windows open. Come on, get out. Wow. 
so stupid. That's so stupid. Come on, into the lights. That's 112 watts right there. Come on, into the lights. Burn. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I melted the cable, but I uh, I kind of uh, took a knife, split up all the cables, and um, had to uh, uh, split up where it was melted because it, me it didn't melt together all of them. It just where the connector was, which is melted together, and some near the power supply itself. But that doesn't go any dangerous. But the dangerous part was near that Molex connector because what happened is that those two melted so much together with the uh, the um, plastic that the uh, had a short circuit when uh, yeah, I turned on the power supply and just keep melting the cable so I just took a knife cut it, o cut it open, took some electrical tape and isolated them and then I would kick in fine and actually, ah uh, there is actually one in there there is one of them, it's blue electrical tape on probably don't ca cannot see very good because this camera is horrible in dark conditions yeah that's about it guys my system uh, manual light adjustments like like a mouse you know uh, yeah so that's pretty much it guys so uh, thank you so much for watching this has been a uh, first video of my computer in a long time and uh, yeah hope to get some comments about you what you think 4.2 gigahertz it's pretty um, yeah, I'm happy about it. I'm happy with it. Runs games now, and at least, well, of course, it runs games at the quad core, you know. Uh, my graphics card is the only one which is bottlenecking my system now, actually. Uh, surprisingly, the video card is bottlenecking. Six nine seventy is not that weak, but Max Payne three, that card doesn't handle it. It handles on medium settings up to uh, around forty frames per second, turning up to high and just get a bunch of lag. And I, I love having VSync on. So uh, that's why I need a powerful graphics card or perhaps two of them. But I don't think that Max Payne 3 is made for two video cards. Because almost no Rockstar games are made by are made for dual video card configuration. So yeah, perhaps I'm sticking with AMD video cards even though I have an Intel CPU. But I found that AMD video cards are the most reliable cards I had. And uh, they are the best uh, price, uh, the bang for the buck. Uh, you know, you can get the best performance for less money uh, buying AMD video cards. Uh, surprisingly, they're doing very well on video cards, but CPU, CPU wise, yeah, Intel is still kicking hard there. So that's why I'm doing like kind of, kind of mix up here. Uh, some of them do that. Uh, some actually select AMD uh, CPUs and go for Nvidia video cards, which is stupid. Because AMD CPUs sucks. Uh, I admit that v v Nvidia video cards have gotten very far up there now. Uh, they have really kicked in now with the 600 series. And very nicely done, Nvidia. So uh, thumbs up for that. Uh, but still, I had too many G driver issues, believe it or not, with the Nvidia. I have uh, had a GTX 275. I've had. I've tried many other GTX cards and I've only got driver issues. Wow, take a look at that. Um, and this laptop right here, do not say it's Dell, but that's the problem because it isn't. But the problem with this is the video card. The driver stops all the time responding on it. It's horrible and I love this laptop due to that very high screen resolution. It's 1920 1200 Awesome laptop, awesome speakers, awesome everything except the video card. So and to fix this. I'm trying to polish it. I'm going to do a better job because that's not very glossy uh, yet. I'm doing going to do completely glossy and spray with a clear spray, spray so this aluminum doesn't look so ugly after touching it because it does now. It looks like it's horrible. That aluminum is like shit. That's why Apple is shit, you know. So uh, yeah, the last thing before I end the video guys is the window score. Take a look at this. 7.5, but that's the SSD which is the gut ball liking that there. So there we go. 7, 7, 7, 8, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 5. 7, 7 on the first generation i7. Never thought I would hit that score. Anyway, the RAM has been higher. Uh, when it only ran uh, 6 gigs of RAM, it had to actually hit 7.9. So, uh, but
but uh, after installing it to 6 it actually decreases because the performance goes down when you only run 5 sticks of memory and not 6 or 3 so you have to use up all channels to get the max performance so that's about it guys my computer system overclocked as you can see idling now is only 1.7 gigabytes but uh, yeah, playing games increases, mixing videos, converting videos, it just increases as well as all CPU cores because I use the CPU for converting videos, not the GPU because my GPU, I actually haven't tried it yet. Um, I need to find a video converter that I actually can convert with GPU, just, just try, you know. But uh, this video will go raw, straight from the camera, right onto YouTube, without any conversion, because I want this video to be in the highest quality possible. So the quality you're seeing on YouTube now is kind of the quality this camera films, but, you know, streaming from YouTube never hit the proper quality from the actual video. But in the 2720p, you will see that it is not that very clear. And neither is my English. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, what do you think about 4.2 GHz and uh, yeah, add a comment, what do you think about me upgrading to suck in 2011, I'm upgrading actually to a gigabyte motherboard, believe it or not, uh, I'm going over to gigabyte again, uh, I had a gigabyte board that died one year after I got it, so uh, but um, trying again, we have two years warranty here, or actually technically five year warranty here in Norway, so uh, and everything uh, which is electronics. So uh, I think I'm going to try Gigabyte, and if it fails, the if it fails the first year, I give it back. I say, well, hey, dude, I want Asus. It's best, you know. So uh, yeah, you will get my opinion on Gigabyte when you when I'm upgrading to the second 2011. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that second 2011 with a 3820 i7. Uh, no, I'm not going for a six-core processor because they're too damn expensive at the moment for my budget so hey yeah, guys so thank you so much for watching and uh yeah as i said leave a comment what you think and stay subscribed for more computer videos and unboxings of fancy hardware